this is going to be a very short video because the kids are asleep, it's midnight and I wanted to address a couple of things that have been coming in through the DM messages and I haven't done a live video in a long time and I thought, you know what, unless I do it now, I'm probably not going to do it. So thanks to everyone who's joining in at these early hours of the morning. Thanks to Scottish lad, Milap Singh. Uh, Milap Singh, good to see you. Jasmine, G Singh, good to see you guys. And today's topic is neck pain. If you have any questions, do drop them into the question comment box and we'll get them answered as we go. I'm going to try and make these videos a bit more regular so I can drop some information to you guys, answer your questions, try and give you guys as much value as possible in a short period of time because I know everyone is extremely busy and probably tired at this time of night. This the next, Today's topic is neck pain. I've had a couple of patients recently and they've had severe pain going up into both sides of the neck. They wake up and it feels like their neck's going into spasm and this is basically whiplash type of symptoms where a neck gets a shock and is often gradually building up over time something happens suddenly all of a sudden you think i haven't done anything but my neck's gone out and it's usually again being a background attention that's been building up uh, trendo, good to see you. if you do have this type of stuff there's a couple of muscles that you need to be aware of one is called scm which is in here the side of the neck that's most often the biggest culprit of this type of pain um, then you have levator scapulae which goes around the back of the neck and you have trapezius which is a knotty muscle that often people get pain in so you want to definitely work into those muscles you can do trigger point massage into those areas and you can so and you can also get something called a thera stick which you can actually use for self massage beyond the self massage um gregor good to see you i haven't heard from you in a while raj good to see you uh trinder hope you're doing well um milab i'm going to get to your question in just a moment if you're getting that type of acute neck pain where your neck's going into spasm it's a bit like you're having a whiplash then you definitely want to apply heat sometimes painkillers don't really touch the pain um, but you want to see your doctor to see what's appropriate whether it's a stronger painkiller opiate group or whether it's something not as strong that you can make naturally cbd oil is an option as well that some people are getting really into at the moment and that's trending so that's the kind of muscles that you want to work in to get a little bit of oil and every two to three hours working to the side of the neck, trapezius, levator scapulae, and SCM, which is both sides of the neck, which is really gonna help. Beyond that, a couple of things that you don't hear so often is the neck posture. And one of the things I'm really into at the moment is something called rhetoric, which is um, understanding how to persuade people and how to, how to have influence. And a big part of that is actually posture and the presence you have. One of the key takeaway messages from that is to keep the shoulders back and relaxed. Keep, imagine a rope coming from the top of the head and pulling you up so your neck is nice and long. And then keep your feet, keep your weight firmly through both feet um, on the ground. So that's really important. Not only gives you more of a presence, but also puts less strain on the neck and the back. Posture is going to be important because most of the time, unless you've had a road, tra road, tra road traffic accident, this is down to posture. Now, a couple of other things that you never hear um, is, is the nutrition element. You want to be taking something for your bones, and that could be a multivitamin, plus you want to take an omega-3 supplement. Um, if you're not vegetarian, you can take cod liver oil. If you are vegetarian, you can get algae oil. And drop me a DM if you want to know where you can pick those up from, and I'll link to those. Um, there's something called New Zealand Green Lipped uh, Muzo, which is also really useful for pain. And there's also something called Devil's Claw, which is again a supplement which is very helpful for this type of pain and the last thing i want to cover is something called relaxation response which you take a deep breath in and as you breathe out you, you tell your body relax and it sounds ridiculously simple but it's it's profound the effects it can have when you're in pain your muscles go tense and they're not going to get better unless you relax those muscles so you're you're in pain you tense the tenser you are, the more pain you have. In order to break that cycle, you have to practice this thing called the relaxation response, which is whenever the pain kicks in, you take a deep breath in, deep breath out. As you breathe out, you think, relax, relax, relax. As you do that, you'll feel your shoulders sinking, the tension from leaving out your neck. And this works for any area where you've got pain, even your back or your knees. This is really important to address the, the mental aspect of it because pain 
and muscle spasticity, muscle spasm is maintained by the brain and the nervous system. And you have to calm the nervous system down, otherwise all the massage in the world isn't going to do anything. So that's a quick whistle-stop tour of how to relieve neck spasm. And I'm going to go through your questions now, so thanks a lot for dropping those in. Um, Milab Singh, I was doing gut guard, did a squat, jumped, and did a wide squat on the floor now. Bad groin pain, can't do the butterfly stretch. You need to rest it, groin pain can be a pain, literally. Um, you can ice it and you don't want to do any sharp motions, changing side to side. And you can do some strengthening exercises with the footballs, put it in between your knees and then squeeze five seconds and then relax. And DM me and I can send you a link to a video. Uh, where I'm from, I'm from London. Um, what's your opinion on keto diet, diet and does it actually work? I've tried it, I think it works. And I think it, different things work for different people. So for me, I prefer intermittent fasting, but if keto works for you, then the only way you're going to know is to try it. So definitely try it out. And essentially all diets do the same thing, which is to reduce insulin secretion. Intermittent fasting does it because you're not eating anything. And ketogenic diet does it because carbohydrates reduce more, increase insulin secretion, secretion compared to fats and proteins. So you're losing fat that way by secreting less insulin by having more fats. Ami, good to see you. Darren, good to see you. The gender, good to see you. So hopefully that answers your questions. Let me know if you have any any of the questions I'm here to serve and I'll get them answered on my live chat. Thanks for tuning in guys.